it's Robin Sharma I hope you are amazing this video is going to be tremendously helpful to you if you are interested in increasing four areas of your life number one your creativity number two your productivity number three your prosperity and number four your impact on humanity so I wanted to give you some specific insights on the value of rising before the sun and joining the 5 a.m. club, which is a concept I've been teaching to my billionaire clients and CEO clients and executives at companies like Starbucks and FedEx and IBM and Nike and other organizations that I've worked with for over the past two decades with tremendous success in terms of helping them increase their focus, their energy, their productivity and their performance. So there's a reason why the visionary founder of Starbucks, uh, Howard Schultz, rises before the sun. There's a reason why Michelle Obama rises very early. There's a reason why Tim Cook, who's leading Apple, gets up before the dawn. First of all, the hours between four and six are the time of least distraction in this age of dramatic interruption. Number two, the hours before the sun rises is the period where your brain is most available to your primary creativity. So while you're sleeping, your brain actually washes itself, but also it lets it go of the residue of the previous day while you are resting and while you are recovering. When you wake up, your thinking is fresh, your creativity is most pristine, you are most available uh, to access your gifts and your talents. So. Those are some of the reasons why I encourage you to get up early. You might say, Robin, well, I'm not an early riser. I can't put mine over mattress. I can't win the battle of the bed. Grandma never got up early. Dad couldn't get up early. I guess I'm not the kind of person who can rise before the sun. And what I would suggest to you is simply this. What science confirms, and in particular, the data of University College London, you do any new habit, practice it for 66 days, and you will arrive at the place of automaticity. In other words, it'll be easier to run the new habit than not to. 66 days of rising at 5 a.m. will get you to a place where it's easier to get up at 5 a.m. than not to get up at 5 a.m. You'll reach a place of automaticity. In my book, The 5 a.m. Club, I say, all change is hard at first, and it's messy in the middle, and it's gorgeous at the end. I'll repeat that again because it's so important. All change is hard at first, messy in the middle, and it's gorgeous at the end. In the book, there's a chapter on the habit installation process that actually explains the three phases every habit goes through before you wire it into the place where it's automatic. Number one, destruction. Number two, integration. And number three, implementation. Really important to remember that. So, you can get up early. You can install habits. As a matter of fact, neuroplasticity, which is the phenomenon uh, that speaks to the fact the brain is like a muscle. The more you flex it and push it, the more it's going to grow. You have that gift. It's not just for Federer and Serena Williams and Oprah Winfrey and Shakespeare and Joe michel Basquiat and Steve Jobs and Elon Musk. You have a brain that has the capability to grow and adapt. But ideas don't work for people unwilling to do the work. And part-time, this is another idea from the 5M Club, part-time commitment leads to part-time results. Okay, so once you're up at 5 a.m., you've practiced it for 66 days, you've gone through the difficulty at the beginning and then the messiness in the middle, and now you've installed it uh, towards the end of the 66-day protocol, then what do you do during this process between 5 and 6? Well, I call it the victory hour. I go into great depth into exactly what to do in the 5 a.m. club, but for now, very high level, the 20-20-20 formula basically tells you exactly what to do from five to six. Right? And this is your period of preparation. The Spartan warrior said it well. Sweat more in training and you'll bleed less in war. Well, business right now and the world right now, it's, it's sort of a war. There's so much distraction. There's so many 
seductions, there's so much competition, there's a lot of complexity. So from five to six is really when you sweat more in training. It's your training period where you protect what I call the four interior empires. Your mindset, your heart set, your health set, and your soul set. Everyone's talking about mindset these days. I think that's only 25% of the personal mastery and elite performance equation. Why? Because your mindset is your psychology. Of course, your psychology is important. But a great psychology with a toxic emotionality, in other words, if your heart set, your heart is full of unprocessed through pain of the past, or if you're angry, or if, you're, if you haven't forgiven the people who have hurt you, or if you're full of resentment and disappointment, well then you're gonna sabotage your psychology. And that's why a lot of books don't work and a lot of training doesn't work. The um, teacher is talking only about mindset without working on the emotional part of the human being. But it's not just mindset and heart set. And again, I go into great depth into this in, in the book, but it's not just mindset and heart set. It's also your health set, okay? I mean, if you don't have energy, if you don't have vitality, if you don't have stamina, you're not gonna win. And then it's also the fourth interior empire, your soul set. Soul set, you might say, well, it's not relevant to me. I'm not a religious person. Well, soul set has nothing to do with religion. Soul set is all about building fluency and intimacy with your true wisdom and the hero within you and the primal genius that lurks at your core. You see, we all have an ego side and that's just our scared and secure self. And then we have a heroic nature. Yes, you do, right in you right now. You might not know it, you might not have a strong relationship with it, but it's there with you. And that's what Soul Set's about. It's about building that relationship with your highest nature. And the relationship with your highest nature sets up the relationship with your family, strangers, your teammates, suppliers, customers, your prosperity, your creativity, and your impact on humanity. Okay, so what is the 2020 formula that lies at the core of the 5 a.m. club method? Well, the first 20 minutes, move, sweat, You'll release BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor, which will increase the neural connections of your brain, as well as repair brain cells damaged by stress, and also promote neurogenesis, which is the formation of new brain cells. I know this is a lot of information, but I wanna give you great content in this video. Exercising for 20 minutes first thing in the morning from five to 5.20, the first part of the 20-20-20 formula, releases dopamine, which is the inspirational neurotransmitter. How valuable is that for your creativity and productivity for the rest of the day? Um, cortisol, the fear hormone, is highest first thing in the morning. Exercising will reduce it. Serotonin is released, so you'll feel happier. Now it's 5.20, you're full of energy, you've optimized your cognition, your focus is increasing. It's only 5.20, the rest of the world is asleep. Just imagine that advantage you already have. Second pocket for the 2020-20 formula is all about reflection. We live in a world where people don't reflect anymore. A lot of people are busy being busy, but what's the point of being busy around the wrong things? So for 20 minutes from 5.20 to 5.40, you reflect, you pray or write in a journal, you meditate, you can visualize, you can script out a blueprint for a great day ahead, which habit researchers call a pre-commitment strategy, which actually increases your willpower and your ability to get your most important priorities done. Okay, now it's 5.40, uh, from 5.40 to six o'clock. This is the final 20 minute pocket of the 2020-20 formula. The first pocket was about move, the second is reflect, and the third is grow. I've coached billionaires and CEOs and NBA superstars and members of royalty for over 20 years. Here's what I've realized when I work with the best of the best. They love to learn. They love to grow. They don't see investing in yourself or investing in your skills or investing in your growth a cost. They think about the value received. I call it the 2x, 3x mindset to double your income and your impact, triple your investment in two core areas, your personal mastery and your professional capability. So for 20 minutes, what do you do? You listen to a podcast, you review your journal notes, you read a book, you watch a valuable video, you just do something, you read an autobiography, you do 
something to grow your capacities and materialize more of the potential you have been born into. And now it's six o'clock, you've optimized your mindset, you've purified your heart set, you've calibrated your health set, you've escalated your soul set, you feel fundamentally different. In the 5 a.m. club there's another model called the four habits of history makers and one of the elements is day stacking. The whole idea is simply this, get your mornings right, your days are going to be fundamentally more energetic, creative, productive, and high impact. And a great week is nothing more than a series of great days and a great month is the same thing and a great quarter is just a, a series of well-lived weeks and it just continues and it creates this upward spiral of success just by getting from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. your victory hour to world class every morning. Uh, consistency really is the mother of mastery and own your morning you're really going to elevate your life. So. I believe rising at 5 a.m. and running my 2020-20 formula that has worked so well for my high-level clients for so many years really is the mother of all habits. Hope this video has helped you. If you want to go times 100 deeper, definitely go ahead and read the 5 a.m. Club book. It's forming a movement already around the world. It's racing up bestseller lists across the planet. And it really is a book that I've worked four years on I put my heart and soul in the book. It's full of amazing models, real world tactics, world class content that will truly help you own your game, dominate your domain, and live a much more valuable and happy life as well. So definitely read the 5 a.m. club. It's a small investment in you materializing your personal mastery and living the life I really want for you. Um, not only so you have a great life and so your family um, has wonderful experiences, but also you can so you can do your part to lift uh, the world and make it a brighter place, okay? Information on the 5, well, you can find the 5 a.m. club on Amazon in book, uh, great bookstores around the world. The audiobook is amazing. You can get that on Audible. You can download the ebook, and I sh I'm sure you know how to find the book. Uh, thanks for your attention. I hope I've been of service to you, and I wish you great mornings and um, all green lights.